A church in Marietta among the first in our area to reopen its doors to worshipers. The first in person service held at Roswell Street Baptist Church yesterday morning since the state home order had been issued. Mara Sirianni explains how church leaders plan to keep people safe. Here at Roswell Street Baptist Church, this is one of the first churches in Metro Atlanta to reopen its doors to in person service. I spoke with the pastor here who says he's excited to have folks back in the building, but he does have some concerns. Executive Pastor Joe Buckner says staff will have their temperatures monitored every Sunday. Hand sanitizer and masks are available at the front door. They also have deacons functioning as ushers to seat and dismiss people with certain areas roped off. Buckner says the decision to reopen was based on the numbers and the science. Anybody who falls under the medically fragile category is asked to stay home and observe the service online. And Pastor Buckner tells me these safety measures will be in place for the foreseeable future. Francesca Amaker joining us again and friend a lot of people talking about the decision to come together again. What are they saying? Well, this conversation has exploded on our 11 Alive Facebook page, but specifically this morning when I dropped the question on our Morning Rush Insiders page, it has exploded with comments. Many people saying it's a no-go for them, but also they're leaning towards the fact that, well, their spirit is ready to go back to the church, but they do not want to get sick. So let's just go ahead and read you some of these some of these comments since we are where Atlanta speaks. So we have a lot of people chiming in. Darlene writes, I'm sorry, but church is just a building. People are the church. You can praise God anywhere. The virus is is not gone. And Vanessa chimed in saying, hallelujah, I miss being in the house of God with my fellow worshipers, but this too shall pass in the name of Jesus. And Sandra says, I go to the virtual mass every weekend, safe, acceptable, and keeping everyone else safe as well. And Donna wrote to us saying, why can't your pastors invite their congregants to Zoom, people? That would really be showing some love for thy neighbor. And so as you can see, there are a lot of comments here. Many people even saying, well, when you go to places like Home Depot and Publix, there are more people there than you would see in a church. Just a lot of people chiming in right now on our Morning Rush Facebook page. So make sure to join that conversation right now. So guys, what do you think about all of this? I love that people are commenting in prayer, Francesca. <laughs> um, you know, I trust, I, if this is a church that you've been going to for many years and you trust the process, then, you know, see if it's, see if it's right for you, basically. You know, when I'm trying to dip my toe in the water and trying to see what's best. It's, you know, are people wearing masks? Are there, is there hand sanitizer around? Just, you know, you know what the precautions, the precautions that need to be taken and just make sure your church is doing those things. Social distancing is big and make sure they're doing that as well. Yeah, I think that uh, it's gonna come down to the individual and how safe they feel to go back. Uh, my church has had numerous discussions about when to reopen, how do we reopen, what do we need, uh, and the changes that will take place. Church is not gonna be the same as what we are used to. Uh, yeah. Jerry mentioned it earlier, the, the intimacy, uh, the, the, the natural instinct to go and wanna hug someone, that kind of thing, those things are gonna change. Mm -hmm. They are, and, and what's happened is uh, a lot of churches have been meeting by Zoom or Sunday school classes, and over the weekend yesterday, um, my Sunday school class used to meeting on Zoom. We had some technical issues because I think so many people are using that technology now. It's gotten overwhelmed, and, and that was really brought about the eagerness to get back. So I understand why, because church is an intimate setting. You want fellowship, and that's usually togetherness face-to-face. Mm -hmm. -face. So it is, it is frustrating, and is, there is that desire for people to get back to church. And you do, Chief, you're right. You do have to somewhat trust the people who are in charge. Yeah, but know what to look for. Yeah. You know what I mean? Know what to look for. Like, we know our hairstylists need to be wearing masks if you, cho if you so choose to go back to the salon. Same thing with the nail salons. Like, know what to look for. Mm -hmm. And if those people are not doing that, then that may not be the church for you anymore. That's a good point, Sheila. That's right.